Hello and welcome to the channel. Today is the first video of many we are going to be doing to make sure you guys are gaming at the top possible performance on any game that you want to play. We're going to start off with five simple things that you can do on your desktop. So if you're not home, save this video, like and comment so I know you want to see more of these. Get home, pull the video up, and quickly follow these steps as I do them and you will be golden. And then we will get to network settings, we will get to GPU, CPU, in-game settings in the future videos. Let's get right into it. All right, now I am on Windows 11, but all of these settings are on Windows 10 as well. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go down to the search bar here. I have everything already preloaded, so I'm ready to go for this video. But the first thing you're gonna wanna find is the game mode settings. So you type in game mode right at the top of the search bar here, and it will bring you to the game mode settings. You're just gonna wanna make sure game mode is on. Most of you probably already have this done. If you don't, this is gonna be huge to make sure all the resources are dedicated to the game you're playing. Second, you're gonna to wanna to go back to the search bar and the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to check out is adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. You're gonna to wanna to type that right into the search bar here and this is the bubble that's going to appear. This is just the appearance of your display here in the Windows and this is not gonna be on custom for you. All you're gonna do is click custom and the main things that you want is show thumbnails instead of icons smooth edges of screen fonts, and smooth scroll list boxes. The rest is really unnecessary. It adds more pop and, and smooths out the screen, makes it look a little nicer. Um, but when you're gaming, and to me, that stuff doesn't really matter as much. So we're gonna gain every little bit we can and just check these three boxes, leave it on custom, click apply, and then you're done with that one. Simple as that. Then we are gonna go back to the search bar here, and the next thing that we're gonna look at is graphic settings. So just type in graphic settings right into the search bar here. I'm just gonna click this. This is the screen that will pop up. Now, this is where all your different games are gonna pop up here. If you're focused on just one game, you're gonna only put the one you want so you click it, click options. This is gonna come up here and you're gonna put it on high performance. Whatever game you wanna main, put it on high performance. Now, if you play multiple games, you can put multiple on high performance. There's no problem with that at all. But if you're focused on one and don't care as much about the others and they're just for fun, then you can leave those at a lower setting to ensure that the computer is focused on this game as being the one where this is where I'm gonna put all my resources. Uh, so that's a really simple one as well. And you save that and you're done. Then we're gonna go back to the search bar one more time, I believe. Yep, all we have left to do here is startup apps. So you're gonna to go to the top, search startup apps, click here. All your different startup apps are gonna come up right here. And all you're gonna to wanna to do is click them all off because when you start up your PC, if there's anything that you do want to run outside of your game, you can just run it and then close it when you're done. To me, um, being focused on gaming, there's no reason for me to have things automatically start up with the PC when the main thing I'm going to be doing is gaming. Sometimes I use other things like Photoshop and Premiere Pro and stuff for editing. But like I said, you can always just open those programs. So you don't want any of this bogging down um, the PC. The last thing I'm gonna show you may be a little different depending on what browser you use, but all of the browsers are gonna work the same way and you're gonna be able to find these settings. I use Chrome, so you open your internet browser, you go find your settings tab, you click your settings tab within whatever internet browser, and for Chrome, the settings we're looking for is under system settings down here on the left side. So when you click that, this is where these two bubbles come up right here. One is continue background apps when Google Chrome is closed. You're gonna wanna make sure that is off. Use graphic acceleration when available. You're gonna wanna make sure that is also off. So those are five simple things that you can do on your desktop to make sure you're gaming at the highest possible performance. Now, like I said to start this video, 
there's in-game settings, there's GPU settings, there's CPU settings, there's display, there's network, and we're gonna get to all of them. But if I put it into one video, it may not get as much attention because it's a lot to follow. So I wanna make these short and sweet because I know there's a lot of videos out there that are 10, 20, 30 minutes long when you can go through things as quick as I just did here, no extra BS, right to it, and you can follow along. Hopefully some of y'all learned something here today and got to change some of these settings for the better of your PC and for your gaming experience. Um, and if you've already done these, I get it because these ones were pretty simple, um, but this is the way I wanted to start it so I can break it into different sections and we can cover everything by the time I'm done with this video series. Love you guys. I got a lot more coming for you. And uh, like and comment if you like this type of video. If you want to see more, it'll really help. And hopefully we'll see you in the next one. I'll be streaming live tonight after this publishes. Appreciate you guys. Whether it's your day or night, take care. And hopefully we see you in the next one. Peace out, you guys.